Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I do my version of flame nails. So if you want to see that then keep on watching. So as you can see I'm just using Pink Ribbon by the Gel Bottle. Um, I've already done my first coat so I'm just popping on a second coat and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. We can be alone in the castle in the sky We can run away and leave this world behind Once that's cured, I'll just take that out of the lamp and then I'm just going to grab a cotton pad and some rubbing alcohol to just rub off that inhibition tacky layer. So now I'm just going to grab one of my Alexa gel paints um, in the shade Dolly. These are my favourite gel paints, I've got them in all different colours. Um, they're really pigmented and they don't dry with a sticky layer, which I really like for a gel paint, so. Now I'm just grabbing my Magpie Detailer brush as well, which is what I'm gonna use for my flames. So my first tip with flames, how I make it easier for myself is I always start with one line, just like that, at the beginning. That's always just a good first place to start just that line, probably just under halfway up um, and then from that line I work in a series of lines and then I'm going to do two lines that come off of that one at the top and those two are going to be your top inside of the flames. By no means are my flames, you know, the best. I still have a long way to go with all of my nail art designs. But I just thought I'd show you how I find it easier to do my version of flames. You'll probably see at the end that they're not the most perfect lines. They don't have to be the most perfect lines. Um, I've still got some, you know, learning and techniques to make myself better. But this is just how I do it for now. Maybe I'll do a video in a year's time perhaps and show you my flames then. That would be interesting. always working slowly slower the better with flames and um, I'll just let you watch basically how I do it I just like I say I do it in a series of lines once I've done my two top lines I'll start on the outer line of the inner flames and then you just have to be really slow and careful when I started doing flames my hands would shake a lot so the, they would just end up being an absolute mess because I was so nervous to paint them but yeah I'll just let you watch I'll leave it in normal speed so that you can just see what I'm doing might be easier for you to turn the nail around like I'm doing um, but just find what works best for you like I say once I've done these flames and um, you might see in the thumbnail that I'm gonna work on the outside white lines um, which I actually originally didn't do sometimes I prefer to do flames without an outer line so I'll literally just do the pink flames I'm doing now and leave it like that um, but it's you know preference you can add you can add layers you can add different colors you can do ombre you can do whatever you like but yeah I'll just leave you to watch what I'm doing and we'll chat about it after then As you can see flames aren't my forte so they do take me quite a while and um, perhaps one day I'll be a lot quicker but I think that happens with everybody I'm not you know a flame expert it's just they're quite new to me still and I just really enjoy doing them so always trying to get better I think that's what with nail techs we all try and do we're always trying to be 
the best and I know I'm not the best um, but if I can shed some light or help and give tips then I will do that. So again, once I've done all of my outer lines, you'll see that I'm using the same brush and I'm just gradually filling in all the spaces um, inside the lines. A bit like tracing really, you've done your outer line, now you've literally just got to fill in your flames and then we're gonna go and do the white outer lines after that. Okay, so now that's out of the lamp, we're going to, um, like I mentioned before, these gel paints dry without a sticky layer, so I don't have to wipe off any inhibition layers. So I'm taking the Alexa gel paint in white. Um, again, I just really love these gel paints, they're so pigmented. Sometimes you need to build them up a little bit more. Um, I haven't tried every gel paint. I've got some magpie ones, which I really love as well. Um, but today I'm just using the Alexa one. So again, I'm gonna do similar to what I did at the beginning. So I'm gonna imagine I'm coming off of that first line that I drew. Obviously I'm not gonna draw the first line because I don't want to draw over the pink. So we're gonna start with the two lines I did after my first initial um, line. And I'm literally just gonna follow the same lines that I did before. Um, I'm basically imagining I'm still doing the pink one, so I'm going to pretend that I'm just doing the, the first outline that I did, but I'm basically going over the pink with white. Um, you still want the flames to look sharp at the top. Um, you don't want to go over the pink line so much that it looks like, like jellyfish legs, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'll just leave you to watch what I'm doing again. Like I said, the slower the better. Um, there's no rush and what's good about these paints is that because they're not tacky um, If you make any mistakes, you can literally just wipe it off and start again Like there's no issue with wiping it off and starting again if you make a mistake Sometimes you can rectify them by 
maybe overlapping a little bit of paint somewhere if you've made like a bump somewhere but um, yeah just work slowly if it's not perfect then that's what practice is for really want the lines to be even and um, I did struggle on this little this little bit here and um, because I wanted it to be lovely and round so to make it a little bit more round I had to distort my lines a little bit because I did kind of mess up but I was kind of too far gone to then wipe off the whole lot so I didn't want to just start again when I'd come this far Now I did get all the way to the end and I really didn't like this bit here so I'm literally just taking um, a small stiff brush and some alcohol and I'm just running that at the top of my white lines to make them a bit thinner and um, you'll see that I've wiped a little bit off and exposed pink but I'm gonna then go over it again with some white I just didn't want the top of it like I said looking like a jellyfish leg because that kind of ruins the whole look for me I wanted it to be thin and pointy and like the top of a flame look so yeah I just changed that bit there and I was still happy with the outcome hasn't got to be perfect but you know I think most nail techs strive for perfection so we're all a bit like that so I just wanted to change the top of that bit So again we're just going to cure that once you're happy with all of your lines 
And then I'm going to be using um, the Gel Bottles top coat today. This is the Extreme Shine top coat by the Gel Bottle, um, which is my favourite top coat ever. It's so shiny. Um, it's a lovely um, consistency. And I just love it. So yeah, I'm just going to pop that on and you'll see that I'm going to turn my nail pop upside down. Um, I do this all the time with clients as well. I'll get them to turn their hands upside down. A bit like when you're using Builder Gel, I just like the top coat to fall into the middle. Um, and it just makes it a little bit of a smoother finish, I think. So yeah, I'm just turning that upside down and then popping it in the lamp for another 60 seconds. Okay, so here's my finished flame nail. Um, it's not perfect, not at all, um, but this is the way that I like to do flames and if I've helped anyone with my tips um, then that's fab. If you've got any recommendations for my next video that would be fab as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I shall see you hopefully soon in my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon, bye!